This episode is sponsored by iTunes. Go to www.cheapseatreviews.com. Click on the iTunes button. You think you know the truth about him? You know nothing. His father was Zeus, the Zeus, king of the gods. His mother, Alcmene, a mortal woman. Together they had a boy, half human, half god. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. This is Cheap Seat Reviews. Hello, and thank you for listening to Cheap Seat Reviews, the podcast that explores the Hollywood film industry for the greater good. This is episode 84. It actually is 84 this time. And today we are talking about not... Hercules! Yeah, not Mortal Kombat, <laughs> but yes. Hercules. And we're all in togas. And we're... Uh, that's the Romans, right? Oh. No, was that the Greeks? Yeah, I guess the Greeks wore yeah. the toga. Well, actually, Romans I'm not even wearing a toga. The Greeks, isn't it? Toga, or, or, toga, 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 toga. I'm just wearing my kilt. I don't know what's going on. Um, I am but naked. I am Sean Allred, and joining me tonight <laughs> is Chad Spear to the Ass Evans. Um, no, he actually missed that. Thank yeah. the Lord. And all the ladies rejoiced. I actually, uh, it's actually called a pyramid. It's not actually not called a spear, but anyway. Well, anyway. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, uh, I I do not approve. Oh. I'm I uh, I reject your reality and substitute my own. Okay. Cornelius Lion Hoodie Logan. Yeah. Cool. That, that sounds good, actually. You know what? Um, uh, Dwayne Johnson has all the muscles, like all of them. Yes, oh, he does. Yeah, he he took them from me. I, he he literally came here, stole them, and I don't have any more. Did, did he lay the smack down on you? Why? Did he need extra muscle in his pinky toe or something? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I wonder if he wakes up and goes, you know what? I don't have enough muscles. And then he just lifts more. I, I don't understand. But, yeah. Well, supposedly yeah. he did an eight month regimen, training regimen for this movie. Jeez Louise. He was huge. Yes, he was. He was Herculean. I, I, can, I can actually buy that he picked up a horse with one hand and threw it. <laughs> <laughs> That, uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Man, he no, wasn't horsed around this movie, I tell that, you. That's that was sure. real. That, mm. that horse died, unfortunately. <laughs> PETA got oh. really pissed. <laughs> Did he punch all of PETA? <laughs> yeah, he just punched them all with one, with one uh, whatever. That's not real. Sam could make a fortune selling armor, Vector. Yeah, apparently it comes out of thin air uh, from some market uh, where they were making armor just for these guys. But so. not... It was, uh, you know, wall... Marticus. Right. <laughs> oh, well, nice. All right. Uh, Chad, Write Chad that down, Sean. Right. <laughs> Damn. Right, oh, nice, man. That didn't take long. Um, <laughs> that's great. That yeah. actually might be Chad, the fastest. You around, buddy. <laughs> hey, well, we try our best. <laughs> actually, we do what we can. I was going to say that might be the fastest uh, winning of an episode, but uh, actually, uh, <laughs> but, uh, butter on a Pop Tart, actually, I think it's the fastest. It's still winning. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's still winning. Yeah, it's still collecting points. Um, so hey, let's pull up a comfy chair and dive into this this movie. Um, uh, Hercules. Unfortunately, Mortal Kombat got pulled uh, with their September um, dump of movies. So dump. <laughs> dump. yeah, so we uh, um, had to kind of scrounge around in the last minute, uh, come up with this one. So. Here we are. We're doing Hercules. 2014's Hercules with the Rock. Hercules, Hercules. And because it was such short notice, I had not had an opportunity to have Catherine record. So, Chad, please. Yes. What is Hercules? <clears throat> well, 
the son of Greek god Zeus and Hera, is stripped of his immortality as an infant and must become a true hero in order to reclaim it. Uh, Starring the great voices of Tate Donovan, Susan Egan, and the great James Woods as Hades, Lord of the Underworld, this is one of Disney's greatest classics, Hercules. Okay. Okay. So, wrong movie. <laughs> well, that's the one I watched. What are you talking about? Can you read the actual movie that we watched? <laughs> that's the one. That's the one we watched, right? The, the Disney one. No, and you know that's not true. Don't, don't, Mister, Mister. I watched Paycheck instead of Payback. Dude, that was an honest mistake. <laughs> yes, I know. What okay, is man. what is the Hercules real, that we watched real, for, for real this time? <clears throat> <clears throat> Having endured his legendary 12 labors, Hercules, the Greek demigod, has his life as a sword for hire tested when the king of Thrace and the Thracians and his daughters seek his aid in defeating a tyrannical warlord. That's right. How many Thracians? Uh, Three. There were only three. There were only Um, three. Mary, Mary, we, if I'm not mistaken. (laughs) And they they had fried chicken. Okay, this joke... (laughs) This joke goes for no one else but Fraternity <coughs> Brothers. We apologize. Um, Brett Ratner directed uh, this movie. Brett Ratner, you say? That name sounds familiar. Well, sure it does. He's the guy that was um, that ruined X-Men. and yep. uh, <laughs> It really needed help? Ruined the best story X-Men had. Uh, yeah, well, he ruined the... Um... Phoenix? Oh, my gosh, Corny. What, dude? <laughs> he, he is announced... To be directing Beverly Hills Cop Four, <laughs> he's gonna ruin your movie. You know that, right? I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Because he did. He did. Can tower. we? Can we? Can I hear? Us? Can I, I need. I need my. I need my music. I'm gonna pull a rock. I need my music. Can I get a? Can I get my music? Who's? Are you talking from talk about Corny? No, I'm not. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I was like. Dun, I, um, dun, 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 dun. I don't, know, I don't know what you want, Chad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh. Like Corny can't That's play your theme song that he played before the the show because I'm not bleeping oh, now. On. I'm not bleeping 15 seconds worth of audio. <laughs> Can I sing it? Because that's all yes. it would be. No. Yes. Because <laughs> that's it. all it do would it, be. Do it, Chad. Do it. Uh, he also directed Rush Hour 3, which wasn't very good. And he also and directed Last Stand. He did Rush Hour 2, which is actually okay. And the first Rush Hour, which is fun. Um... And Red Dragon, which didn't do very well, I think. But Tower Heist, whatever. I liked Red Dragon, though. Yeah, I think it was all right. Um, I actually don't know if I've ever Isn't seen it. Isn't that the... Uh, it's the prequel to, to oh, yeah, okay. the uh, Faber Beans and eating faces mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, Isn't oh, that Detroit. Ralph Fiennes? Isn't he in that? In Red Dragon? I thought he was the dragon, wasn't he? I thought it was uh, Edward Norton. Is no, it, didn't he was start the, the top. Wasn't that guy Hunt in there? Uh, Mike, wasn't it? No, I'm not saying that, Chad. Oh. <laughs> you were trying to get an explicit tag on this movie, on this podcast. <laughs> I really Gosh. am. Yeah, Again, Ed- I'm still the only one not to drop an f bomb. Okay, so, Edward uh... Norton is in that, but Ralph Fiennes, uh, Rafe Fiennes, sorry, is in that movie also, Sam. Holy with, crap! Uh, okay. It's two weeks in a row, isn't it? With Harvey Keitel, yeah. I do my homework on movies we're not doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He can't tell me a single actor that was in this movie, but he can tell Dwayne me... Dwayne the Tub Johnson. The, the Tub? <laughs> yeah, you say that to his face and see what happens. He'd laugh. He uh, would, laugh actually. I think he would. And, and then kill me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, with that arrow to the forehead. Uh, uh, so yeah, Brett Ratner directed... This is 2014 movie. Um, got a 6.1 on IMDb, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, it it made a lot of mo- money though. It really did. It was it, it was a hundred million dollar budget, um, which actually seems kind of high. Maybe there was just all that extra money for his muscles or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think there was a lot of CG in this movie. Obviously. Uh, well, the, I mean, the animals were CG and some of the battle, but I mean, what else was CG? Background. Yeah, probably. I mean, like I just didn't. A lot of those. I wonder if I wonder if The Rock actually commanded so much money that it actually inflated the. Uh... I mean, I don't know. Maybe it, it made worldwide two hundred and forty-three million dollars. Good job, guys! Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I mean, nice. it made money. See, I I thought this was a flop. Tell you the truth. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, and now I the other hearing... one did. The Kellen Lutz one was terrible. Oh, yeah, it was. Um, 
but I had heard that this movie had done poorly. So I'm actually quite surprised it uh, did as well as it did. I, I am too. And I'm trying to find how much that other garbage one made. Um, apparently, Kellen Lutz, I spelled that wrong. What's the other Hercules movie? What's it called? The Legend of Hercules? Um, Should have had Kevin Sorbo. Would have been fine. Kevin Bacon would have been the best. The Legend of Hercules. Oh, Kellen with an A. Sorry. It got a 4.2. Ooh. Ooh. What is this on IMDb? 6.1. 6.1. Yeah, not bad. Uh, yeah, let's see. This one was a $70 million budget. Ooh. Um, <laughs> uh, ooh, you all right, Corny? Nope, nope. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find worldwide. All right, I'm going to have to do math. All right, it didn't break $20 million. Damn. Wow. Yeah. We had a tight spot. It made... It made twenty two million of whatever the Philippines dollar is. <laughs> <laughs> they really liked it over there, huh? It was only I, well, I don't mean I don't know what that means. I mean, like, is a movie like a hundred Philippine? I don't know what they're they're. Isn't I, the Philippine dollar the dollar? No, because it literally says. Because you okay, Corny? No, I am now. Because like when it's a, in the U.S., it has the dollar sign, but for Philippines, it has PHP in parentheses. Isn't that a drug? PHP, I think that's PCP. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> or LSD. Or LSD, yeah. Well, you got to um, think. You, know, you go to some countries and one dollar gets you like a million shaka cons from a place <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> shaka <laughs> One star review <laughs> from anyone. Uh, yeah. I feel like shaka con. Right. I feel like that was racist somehow. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I mean, there's highly inflated monetary values across the world compared to the dollar so i would guess it's probably like a million uh, oh it's a that, pcps it's a peso <laughs> not pcp pcp again is the drug oh okay php php P- yeah yeah actually kind of like uh P- PCP. all right so for one american dollar equals 46.7 phps ah, that's just ridiculous See? yeah so so Where's 22 it? million of that is like 11 dollars or something i don't know <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, the point is that movie did not do very well, and except Lutz, in Phil- Philadelphia, and, or wherever it, that was, the Philippines. It, it did the Philippines. Okay. Thank you for them. It did okay, I guess. But we're not talking about that terrible movie. We're talking about this, yeah, okay movie. Um, yep. so Chad, yeah, this is our first time for all of us, right? For this watching this yes. movie, yes, second time actually. Really? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, then we'll get to you. Second, Corny, uh, Chad, you go first. Hi. Uh, like That's I said, this is my first time viewing this film. Um, I kind of came into it thinking, you know, it's another like 300 esque type film of people that are ripped, you know, beating the ever loving shit out of each other. Um, and I really wasn't that far off base. Um, I didn't, I didn't much care for the you know, the cinematography of it, so to speak. Um, the plot was kind of very, I don't know. Uh, I know a word. I know the word I would use. I would use the word Uh, generic. Yeah. Generic. Um, is it it me or does Chad have a bad connection? I may have a bad connection. Sounds great over here. Really great. Well, it's you. Um, I would say that it's, it was very, it, it telegraphed a lot. Um, and like it, it, you kind of foresaw everything that was going to happen. Even the, towards the end of the film, when, when the guys are like, you know, Hercules is starting to get this sense of, of duty. And I said duty. Um, <laughs> the, I, this idea of justice, so to speak, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm not going to be a mercenary. Here, you can take my money. Everybody else, just go on your own way. And everybody else is like, no, I think we'll stay with you. And then there's the one guy. There's always one guy. He's like, man, F this S, I'm out. You know what, you and, know, know what that is, by the way? The, the guy who takes the money and runs? That's the Han, I know. That's the Han Solo yeah. trope. Yeah. Yeah. He pulled so, a Han Solo and then turned and then returned later to kind of quote unquote save the day. Yep. So it was a Han Solo trope. Um, yeah, and didn't see. Yeah, if you didn't see that coming, you're an idiot. <laughs> um, I kind of got. I 
going into this is like the guy the the bard so to speak was like hercules is so awesome he did all this with his bare hands and and you know his, his human hands not bare hands mm -hmm. but you know human hands so you know and then then it kind of goes back and says well he's not really that you know that powerful he's kind of like you know he's kind of just a really strong guy right he's just a dude He's just a dude. But in the end, it's like, nope, you're kind of got this magical power. and um, But we don't really know that right. until the very end. And, and we're still not really you know. sure. Yeah, no, you know, is he, her is he really Hercules? You don't know. Well, he's really Hercules, but is he really the son of Zeus? Yeah. No. The Cause mythological uh, Hercules. Because the whole film, he kind of, they, get, they, they hint at, like, the supernatural thing, like centaurs and and mystical un uh, undead or un well mystical like people like yeah the undead uh, the painted the green guys the trumps uh, the <laughs> yeah they uh, they did <laughs> they did mention the the uh, oracle at Delphi mm -hmm. that was yeah yeah so um the guy that could the the, the guy that could see the future. Always sort of. Hate, right? Sort yeah. Of. <laughs> sort of. They're uh, great about dropping hints, but cheap on the details. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> he was my favorite character. He was by oh, far absolutely. my favorite character. Um, um, though most of my my quote not quotes, most of my clips are from uh, Han Solo character. Oh, yeah. yeah. He had the best quotes. He did. He had the best dialogue. He had better dialogue than The Rock. Yeah. Well, you got to think even really, in Star Wars, really he had the to... best dialogue. Hans. Uh, yeah, that's true. I really wanted to see a, one of those scenes where he was actually, you know, you know, out of out of fire, you know, cook, you know, putting something in a pan and you're roasting it on on a fire and, <laughs> and uh, giving. Can, can, can you smell what he's cooking over there? Yeah, yeah. I really wanted to see that that scene. <laughs> he he turns around and goes, "Can you smell what Hercules is cooking?" <laughs> and then he does the eyebrow. Bacon. <laughs> I guess so. And that would have been man. That that boar he killed. That would have been a lot of bacon. Mm. Yeah. Bacon. And yeah, just, but it probably would have been tough. I'm I guessing. Don't care. They make well, bacon as turkey. Well, hide was un in un in what? impenetrable. Impenetrable. Yeah. Impenetrable. And it was in, was it? Has, yeah. How did you cut it I off just, then? <laughs> With an indestructible sword, you idiot. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. I mean, so that, why why shouldn't we believe you? This stuff just showed up magically. Why didn't we get this when we came here? I don't know. Yeah, and and here's my question. You know, yeah, you just said it. There were the cleaners. Come from. <laughs> it came from you know Walmarticus. Walmarticus. So they had to order it <laughs> from China. Yeah, it came from. Oh. China. It's all made in they China. were they were outsourcing the labor even then. Yeah. Dang. Uh, we outsourcing the twelve labors. Ooh. Oh. oh. Well, nice. Okay. Chad's on par tonight. Corny. Yes. Well, I think it was really good. Why is Lando coming <laughs> what the over heck here? Is this? <laughs> the the voice so nice, he came back twice. Mm. No, um, this is my second time watching the movie. Uh, I actually Thanks, watched man. it um about four Saturdays ago because uh, I was bored and I saw it and I thought, oh, let's go ahead and see what this is about. And um, it was everything I thought it would be. Um, I was not expecting anything great out of it, and I did not get anything great. But it's a it's a good, I need something to do movie. I think it kept my attention long enough. I actually thought the uh, the big moment was, you know, uh, uh, worthy of the movie. And, um, and that big moment for me, folks, was uh, him actually getting out of the, he's chained down and, um, you know, rips free and. And squishes the guy. Squishes yeah. the guy. Yeah. I mean, squishes. <laughs> I, I really wish I could have seen it being squished. I slowed down the like, frame. And yeah. that guy was another, he was another wrestler, wasn't he? Oh, I don't the know. He, he had a mask on. Dude. Didn't he have like a mask on? I don't know. He did know. have a mask on, but, you know, uh, I saw the trivia. No mask. Okay. Um, but, I mean, no, no uh, I think the, no, sorry, no capes. <laughs> no capes. No capes. Uh, I think, I think the rating is actually pretty spot on. I mean, uh, um, mine might be a little bit different, but uh, I, I feel it's a, 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 not a great solid movie, but a, a, a just a good um, I've got a couple hours to kill, kind of movie. All right, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of agree with you there. You know, I didn't really, 
I didn't much care for the, the the telling of the story per se, but I actually had a lot of fun, you know, sitting and and watching it because it was kind of like, <clears throat> look at that. Wait, how, how, what? What? Ah, uh, screw it. Move on. <laughs> he threw a horse. <laughs> he threw a horse. <laughs> he threw a horse. I'm like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> I was totally okay with that too. <laughs> I totally bought it. I watched every round and watched it again. I was like, he just ducked and picked up like like. As the guy's running towards him, that was his plan the whole time, right? He was like, yeah. all right, he's going to come at me. He's going to try to slice off my head because that's what they all do. I'm just going to duck. <laughs> that's what they all do. And, uh, you know, like, I'm just going to duck and throw the horse. You know, I mean. <laughs> I can see how that meeting, you know, the, 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 the um, post-battle conversation goes. So you, you threw a horse. Yeah, you know, I, I, I just felt like I needed to throw a horse. Yeah. And how do, what's going through the, guy, the other guy's head? He's like, okay, my entire army is running away from this guy. Um, I can take him. Well, he says, that, he actually says out loud for the audience's sake, if you cut the head off the snake, the snake dies. Yeah. So he's feeling like if he can kill Hercules, then, then that army will just, you know, whatever, wither and die. And then he can re rally his troops. Now it was yeah. super convenient to the plot that this is the only guy he doesn't kill. <laughs> so that we can learn later about other shenanigans happening. So it's a good thing that horse didn't land on him and kill him. Yeah. Did you say Lando? No, I didn't say Lando. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My bad. <laughs> uh, that's actually good. Were you done? Um <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I need to talk to my manager. I gotta ask my manager. <laughs> I love that voice that they do in the Simpsons show. Oh. I love that guy. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sam? Yeah. You know, I'm gonna boil this down so that the target demographic for this movie, we can reach them as well. And this this is my review for them is whew, it was a <laughs> it was a good movie. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Maybe not the target market. Maybe the. Uh, I the done did enjoy that movie. Wow. Spoken in clear hickory accent, uh, English. Yeah. More yeah. than really. No, but seriously, this is my first time watching this thing. Um, and I went into this after seeing all the trailers, all the previews. I went to, into this thinking this was the Hercules story. All the trailers show you, you fight. You know, him fighting against the boar, him fighting against the the Hydra, all that sort of stuff. So I thought this thing was going with, you know, along that lines of the mythological story of Hercules. I had no clue of the first twist of it not being an actual Hercules or not the mythological Hercules that we saw. And I did enjoy that little bit of a twist here at the beginning. But pretty much everything else beyond that could almost be expected um i think i texted you guys that it felt like this was about a two-hour training montage <laughs> right mm. for this for this army that he was building around right <laughs> and, uh, I, can't get down. I enjoyed that part the, the only problem i had uh, is some of the tactics they were using i know shield wall is a great thing and all but it seems like me the square shield wall is probably not a good idea well they, you were, know, you, they were surrounded i mean what are you gonna do well, you get into a circle. That way, if someone falls, there's no weak spot. You know, you just fill in that spot, and the circle just gets smaller instead of caving in on one side. Yeah, that's probably us thinking of, you know, geometry and things. I mean, that might not have been, I don't know. A thing, yeah. How dare you use actual science? Who do you think you are, Greek? And, and did anybody else think of, why didn't they bring those chariots with the knives um, out earlier? As well, they were getting pummeled? Well, um, because it was cooler this way. <laughs> and then, um, did she really... Did, did, do you think she needed a little bit more armor? No, she was, she was great the way she was. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting the target demographic. Right. <laughs> Boobs. Yeah, she <laughs> was... Uh, she is Norwegian. Yeah? Norwegian. I thought yeah. she was Amazonian. Well, she's Amazonian in the movie. Okay. Uh, she With a has, British accent. She has a uh, a degree in music education. 
Does she really? So do I. And up to the top of my list of awesomeness. Right. Cool. Studying jazz singing and improv. She lives in Oslo. No, she lives in yeah Oslo. Yeah, cool. she was she was great. Yeah, I liked his Gosh, little merry cool. gang of uh, yeah his merry men. People. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a lot of fun. The the crazy war guy who didn't speak. He was the, uh, he was great. The not arsonist. What is it you call it when you shoot bows? The archer. You are a archer. archer. Thank you. The girl. Why am I hearing an echo? I don't know. It's weird. Um, You're hearing corny. So I, I say the same words, you know, <laughs> on top of each other. <laughs> um, so you had the archer, you had the knife thrower, um, and the the mystic slash bow wielder. Not bow. What staff. do you call that? Staff wielder. The staff and that then... can twist the handle and turn it into a battle axe kind of a thing. <laughs> the technology in that this was movie really was, cool. was pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, you've got Hercules with his club. Club. Oh, yeah. That thing was great. Tasty. Yeah. And I, I kept misjudging cheese, his basically. strength. You know, the very first time you see him wield that club, he knocks down five people. Right? But well, then it seemed like sometimes it wasn't as strong. I don't think he actually did. That's the that's the what we're supposed to believe. But then we learn later. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think he did knock those guys down. I think that was the point. We were supposed to believe that. But his yeah. remember his team was there. Yeah. So you know. So I mean he did lift a horse. He did throw a horse. Yeah. So Yeah, she's pretty. Sorry, I'm looking at pictures of Through the uh, horse? No, I'm looking yeah, at pictures actually. of uh, Ingrid. I can't say her last name. <laughs> Van Alpen? Uh, no. Pishy. She was, uh, however, she Ooh, was in Hansel, Joe's daughter. Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters as oh. the Horned Witch. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, you said horned. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, she was horned. <laughs> <laughs> you done, Sam? Uh, yeah, I think I'm done. Well, oh, okay. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah. As long as you dumb yourself down. Um. I think they were a little too clean in terms of uh, what I would think they'd be wearing back then. Um, yeah. And it's just, it was, it was a good movie, rough around the edges in terms of writing, cinematography. I'm right kind of with you, Chad, there. And um, you could tell where they spent their money, and they spent their money on the... Uh, the Rock. Mm-hmm. Well, not only The Rock, but, the, you know, a few of the special effects looked really good, and some of it didn't look so hot. So... Okay, that's my that's my take. How about you? Uh, well, this is obviously not obviously, but this is my first time viewing this movie, and I really enjoyed watching Three Hundred Meets Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> um, that's I'll take the, it. That's the only way I can describe this movie. Channel um, out. Um, th- this movie was a uh, just a big old pile of tropicana, uh, just tropes <laughs> all over this place, just lousy with it. I mean, I just I stopped writing them because I. I mean, I wrote like 12, you know, we already <laughs> talked about the Han Solo trope, the, yeah. um, uh, just, uh, we're going to get to those in just a second, but, but damn. So one, I had a ball with this movie. I laughed. <laughs> I mean, like seriously laughed at some of the, the little comic moments when, um, when he lift the, when he threw the horse, which is clearly a, an impactful moment for all of us. I laughed. I don't know if I was supposed to, but I laughed out loud in my office. I'm like, oh my God, he threw a horse. Uh, um, there was a couple other moments that I laughed. The crazy guy made me laugh a couple of times. Um, like when he just like burst through their wall and he's like, you're all dead. Like that made me chuckle. So this movie had some really comedic moments um, that I think were actually pretty good. Um, and I did not realize that Rufus Sewell or Sewell, who was the uh, um, Adamar in A Knight's Tales, so this would be our second movie with him. He was the knife throwing Han Solo. Mm-hmm. Um, he had some great one liners, but I didn't realize that he's actually really funny. Like his comedic timing was pretty good. Um, Cause not like, like, like the rock can't play funny, you know, like I just, he might can do one-liners, but I have never seen him in a movie, and he said a one-liner, and I really like laughed. Well, I, I, I was to say um, in um, like I watched Pain and Gain with him and uh, Be Cool. Those actually are a couple times. Yeah, Be Cool, I can actually get Pain and Gain. I've, I've not seen. Um, uh, you don't want to, by the way. Though. Yeah, I know Michael Bay. I heard it was horrendous, but um, 
Yeah, I think you're right with Be Cool. That one I can buy. Um, Scorchen. Wasn't he? Wasn't he in the uh, the other guys? For yeah, for like four 30. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and in truth be told, Sam Jackson had the comedic moments between those two anyway. <laughs> you know, and like Will Ferrell's like, I love you guys. And Sam Jackson goes, Shut your mouth. If I wanted you to talk, I stick my hand up your ass and work your mouth like a puppet. <laughs> um, Mr. Jackson, please say the lines. Ew. Right, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um Ian McShane was in this, who uh, was in Kung Fu Panda, which isn't necessarily why I picked that reference, but uh, he's in that. And John Hurt is in this, as only John Hurt can be. Um, this is our second John Hurt movie, and also our second John Hurt movie, where we think he's one thing, but he turns out to be something else. Spoiler yeah. alert. John Hurt is the bad guy. Son of a... Dun, dun, dun. Right. He is the... Uh, which is a trope. I didn't know what to call the trope, though, but it's the trope where... I need to get you, the hero, to do things for me. So I'm going to pretend that those people are, are bad guys and we are the victims. So I'm going to show you all these horrible things that they've done so that you agree to do the thing for me so I can get you on my side. Because if I just yeah. paid you just as a mercenary and you didn't believe in our cause, then you wouldn't put your all into it. Um, I know, Corny, I've mentioned... We, we try to mention Leverage at least once an episode, but that's the <laughs> pilot for the TV show Leverage. It's literally how the pilot show yeah. episode starts and how the team gets together. So um, so that's a trope. It's got a short name. I just don't know what it is, but it's a trope. I might just call it the Leverage trope. I don't know. Um, so, uh, But I laughed. I had a good time with this movie. So I'm, I'm really excited to kind of to, to explore it a little bit more. Um, you guys had issues with the cinematography, both Chad and Sam. You mentioned that I didn't really notice bad cinematography. I didn't think it was particularly good. Well, that, that's what it is. You, you know, know you like expect, I didn't, you know, expect a little more, yeah. um, in terms of the Greek ideas, you know, well, you, you're talking myths, you, you know, I expect really cool looking locales and things like that when I talk about yeah this. okay I see, I see what you're saying so you're talking about the general scope that we saw not as opposed to just like camera placement and how they sh how things were shot because yeah right. I actually think the battle scenes were actually shot really well because you can I, actually understand what was happening absolutely I did you know? appreciate that I, I gotta give them credit for that because that was yeah like that like, was cool to see how you know what strat tactics they were using right you know, to yeah, like the director did. A, yeah, he did a good thing. He showed you like an overview, like like this is what's happening, and then we go down and then show the small stuff, and then we go over here. Like so, I thought that the battles, the two big battles, two or three, however many they were, were were really well done. Yeah. Um, because we've all seen, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but like where you have these large battles with lots of extras and stuff, and so much is happening, and all these quick uh, quick cut takes, you don't understand what the hell you're watching. Yeah, you know, so it's. Um, I, I thought that part was actually really well done. Yeah, um, it's kind of, you know Game of Thrones has been actually good about that. Yeah, recently about about showing the actual military tactics that they use. Oh, well, the battle. battle at the wall was amazing. Yes, absolutely. You know, so, um, and that's how I felt with this movie. Um, some of the stuff I liked that I thought the movie did okay with was. Um, uh, I thought the CGI was fine. It was whatever. I mean, it was, again, it was a I big thought the, the, and the boar, boar and the lion and all of that stuff was amazing. Yeah, Absolutely it looked, it looked, amazing. It looked just fine. Um, just a few times during the battles, you could tell some of the fake soldiers that aren't there. But not like, yeah. you know, you kind of have to look for it and turn your brain back on. Yeah. I, uh, I was watching this on my iPad, so it's not like I had a big screen to watch. Uh, okay. So I didn't. I might have missed some of that in the just the the, the smallness of, of the whole thing, you know. Maybe if I was That's watching what she it, said. yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> maybe if I was watching it on like on you know, my forty inch TV or something, I I might have gotten a little bit better experience of it. Um, I like uh, I liked the whole. So I'm with you, Sam, and I think everyone except well, Corny obviously had seen it before, but it's probably the first time you watched it, Corny, where we all thought that this was the actual Hercules, the legend, mm -hmm. and it's not. It's just. A different version of it, and I appreciated that. Yes. That was a breath of fresh air. I thought, yeah, I, that, that they were doing it that way. Yeah, go ahead. Yo, no, I was just gonna say, uh, you know, 
you see something like this and you go, well, I guess it's been hiding under a rock before. <laughs> yeah, that seemed forced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, but. You know. okay. he, hey, hey, Chad, if, guess what? It doesn't matter if you think it's forced. That's one of the rocks things. Oh, I don't think the right? people would approve of that. <laughs> was he the people's elbow? Was that him? He, he was the people's yeah. champion. Uh, no, yeah. but did he do the people's elbow? Was so he was it? communist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Now we don't like him anymore. Well, that's okay. We're communist uh, because we do things for the greater good. So, <laughs> Damn it. We're all kinds of screwed. No wonder no one likes us. Um, <laughs> that's why we got hate mail because we're... We're commies. We're all commies. Um, maybe we sh- maybe we're, maybe we're targeting this to a r- the wrong audience. Maybe we should be targeting to Russia. Well, well, I but am. But a movie watches uh, you. Hold on, I am using my Russian accent, so they should understand what I'm saying. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's all, true. No, this all... is my. Hold on, this is my German accent. My Russian accent would be actually British, which I can't do very well. Um, though, if you guys notice in this movie, everyone in the movie had an English accent except. Hercules. Hercules. So it was the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves effect. Yeah. And I didn't <laughs> care. I did I didn't care. I I noticed it immediately when he, you know, when he walks in, I saw I did it with my bare hands. I'm like, oh, that's he's not gonna try, but you know what? I don't care. He's wearing I think it would, a I th- he's wearing a lion. A situation you know? where it would be worse <laughs> with a <laughs> accent. Yeah, and they, and maybe they're like, Hey hey Rock, can you uh Dwayne the Rock. Can, can I call you Dwayne? Okay, Dwayne. Um, can you do like uh, like a Greek accent? He's like, uh, no, 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 I can't. Okay, how about like British? Because everyone or else. Worse is... yet, they, they the made Rock him cry. says he will not. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a little loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm thinking that's really what it was. Yeah. It was. Hey, can you do a, a British accent? Well, I can try. And it's like. Yeah, no, no, no. No, you, no yeah. so, so, it'll be okay. Say the line it'll be over. all right. I did it with my bare hands. Okay, can you try Middle Eastern? I did it with my bare hands. No. Oh. 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 oh, damn it. I killed it with my bare hands, hey, including hey. these bare hands. Well, at least I wasn't the racist one in this episode. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. I appreciate Let it be of note that I'm I've yet to use an F bomb or be racist. <laughs> that day is coming, folks. That day is coming. Where you're both racist and, and we're using gonna F-bomb. get a jihad yes. on us. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that hey, like a for, new for, thing? Like hey, on iTunes? Hey, Chad, like... but in but in seriousness, we do have listeners in Dubai and um uh United Arab Emirates. So you probably, well, please you probably just pissed them out. off. Yeah. <laughs> feel, free to, feel free to edit that part out. I apologize. Yeah. Chad lives at <laughs> Yeah. No, no, don't say that yet. Wait a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, because they're living with Sam. Chad um, lives at <laughs> Well, we wouldn't do that. No. No, no, I would. I would not. Chad. I just want everybody to know that I am a large black guy. <laughs> um, Fair. I play in a trio with uh, <laughs> and I live in Chile. I play trombone and um, <laughs> let's get off this racist train for a few minutes here. Um, okay. let, me just, let me need to correct the ship here. Uh, oh my the Red October. I'm going to Hades, where all the fun people are. That's right. I, I, that was a great line. If you die, you're going to Elysium, <laughs> where there's you know whatever. Or if you're lucky, you'll go to Hades, where all the fun people are. That was a great line. See, he, he had all the good lines. I should have copied that one. Um. Speaking, I guess, let's go ahead and play one of these. So, speaking of great lines, this, this made me laugh out loud. Unfortunately, my lady, Hercules is fully committed to the Feast of Dionysus. We could, however, advance you to the front of the line for the right price. Hmm. I thought heroes fight for glory. The mercenaries fight for gold. Lord Cotus is a rich man. I like him already. If you agree to aid him, he will pay your weight in gold. Top. <laughs> That's a great bit. He pulls this like, huge plate of food and slides it over. That's brilliant. Uh, it would have been funny though if she would have pointed to like the little guy. We're gonna pay his weight. Yeah. More. And then they, and it made him start stuffing his mouth. Well, no, but then they negotiate. No, you're gonna pay his weight, and then they point to the rock. You're gonna pay his weight in gold. I think that would actually have been funny too. But either way, she was. I just realized I was looking at like IMDb. the whole rest of the movie. They could have. 
They could have run the gag though. Like he's always eating. You know, they keep feeding the little guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's always he's either talking or eating or selling armor or something at Walmarticus. Um, <laughs> thanks, thank you, Chad. That was great. Um, no problem. Anytime. What did I write? Boring. I don't remember what this is. I don't know. Mystery clip. Which title sounds more terrifying to our enemies? Hercules, Savior of Thrace, or Hercules, A Legend is Born? Both sound terrifyingly boring. I know I remember why I captured that too, because isn't like Hercules, A Legend is Born, isn't that basically like the TV show that they had? Wasn't that what it was called? Or The Legend, no, the the legend with, of Her- Hercules? The one with Kevin Sorbo was The Legend Continues, I believe. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. I just thought they were kind of poking fun at the TV show, which is why I captured it. Um, another great one-liner by our friend. I hope the enemy has a sense of humor. Right. Today's lesson, how not to stab yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that one got me, but I lost it on that one, too. Because <laughs> I could just see, like, all these farmers with these swords, like, what? And they like, actually keep, like, stabbing each other, like, not knowing what they're doing. That just made me laugh. Um, sorry, I'm done. No, I'm not. Um, what? Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. My next, my next <laughs> note was. I was getting a little worried here, man. Yeah. Sorry. My next, my next note was gross looking dead people's heads. You know the crazy guy when they get into that village. Oh yeah. And he like licks that guy. I was like, oh, because I was eating oh, lunch. Yeah. I was like, Mark. yeah. So that part was pretty <laughs> awful. How was that? Mark. Uh, and then my next note was, don't know if chariots could actually do the things that they did, but switchblades are cool. Uh, I don't know if that was a technology they had back then, but everything in this movie had a freaking switchblade. That's true. true. Except the, except the club. Except the club. The club wasn't. No. Had like nails nailed in. Was those like, you think those were the, um. needed lettuce. A little, tooth, a little toothpick a little on, toothpick top. on top, give it and, we'll, and we'll cut it in fours, and then we'll dump <laughs> potato salad or chips in the middle. Or chips, I prefer chips. Now this club is formed. What? Spread the spread the word on menus nationwide. <laughs> Sorry, it's a Mitch Hedberg routine where he's talking about the club. He's like, "Man, I get the club sandwich all the time. I'm not even a member." And then he talks about how I wonder how that that meeting was formed. Hey. I like my, my sandwiches with three slices of bread. Well, me too. All right. We should form a club then. Okay. But we need more stipulations. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we will cut it. We will cut it in half. And then again. All right. Hey, what do you think about Philly toothpicks? I'm for them. <laughs> all right. Anyway. <laughs> um, sorry. Mitch Hedberg was great. Uh, but sadly, he passed away several years ago. Um, so Chad or Sam or Corny, one of y'all said that like you could see everything that was going to happen in this movie. The only plot twist, in my opinion, in this movie was the only was the plot twist we didn't get. I thought the nephew was going to get killed. I always yeah. oh, thought yeah. that because he's like, "Let me go fight, Uncle. I want to go fight. Come on, please, let me go fight." And he's practicing fighting. Oh and yeah. The general's always glaring at him. I sw- swore, like I knew there was going to be a moment where, you know, he's he's standing in the back with the king or whatever, and then he's like. You know, the rock is in trouble and he runs up to the front to try to save the day and he kills a guy who's about to kill him, but then that guy kills the nephew and then then the rock has to no and then we have the no <laughs> trope. Like I saw that coming, but apparently that didn't happen. So um so I, I that's that's the trope of the non foreshadowing? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean just you're gonna foreshadow something and then not deliver. I almost made me mad. I kinda wanted him to die. He was annoying. Maybe call it a five shadow. It was a five shadow. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, and then the I'll next, out. my next one is, of course, is the. Uh, <laughs> so they had, they had time to make the forge lion heads on the shields and make the armor. I like. Okay, here's the other thing I'm confused about. The, everything that he that they that he did wasn't real, right? You know, like, supposedly, yes. supposedly, like, do we know that that lion was as big as it was? I mean, he had one on his his hoodie, but it didn't look as big though, right? And you know, and so like, was the boar actually that big? You know, so so the, the, what I'm saying is like the armor that they brought, that leather, it had to have just been regular leather, right? It couldn't have been yeah. actual. So then, so then I was waiting for them to reveal the gag how they showed crazy axe guy not cut through the leather. 
You know, mm. I kept waiting for that gag. For then, then like the they, like the general like rah, 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 and he walks away, and then like the uh, the the axe guy kind of looks over and like sticks the axe on his hand and like it's dull or something. You know, um, I kept I kept thinking about how I felt. I I actually felt sorry for this army because they're being led by liars, mm-hmm. and then they kept being fed lies, uh, including this new armor they were getting. Right. Does that make sense? Right. Because I was like, oh, mm-hmm. my God, these poor guys are gonna, are trading in their metal armor for leather and are going to get cut to pieces because of it. Right. Magic leather. Yeah. yeah. That was the thing that kind of bothered me about the movie is that the rules didn't um, stay consistent. Yeah. You know, it's like he isn't the son of Zeus. So there aren't really, you know, and he bleeds and he's just a man. But here's the, here's the leather from the animal. So did the animal exist? I mean, it showed us him killing a big boar. And would that boar have been big enough to create enough hides for a, giant, a whole army? Well, at the same Absolutely time, not. we also know that he was like hallucinating here and there. I mean, it could be a possibility that he. But they, I mean, they still had that. Well, yeah. Let's, let's say, so the the boar and the and the lion weren't as big as we thought that they were, which is fine. You know, they were they were embellished for the story. Because um, they even showed him fight battling the quote unquote Hydra, which later he real you know showed to uh, Joseph Fiennes as just people's heads with you know things masks over them. But the leather suits were still real, so where do they come from? And I, I don't know, just they they kept changing the rules. It was really weird. Um, uh, I don't know, whatever. And then he had his uh his Popeye moment. You know, when they're yeah. getting ready to kill the girl that he now, for some reason, loves. Um, I think it was more for the kid's sake. You're probably right. It probably was more for the kid than her. Uh, that's a trope, also. You know, gotta save the kid. Well, he was also getting, he was also getting taunted. You know, like, your, your shit wife and kids deserve to die. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. Oh, yeah, so they drew aggro. And, uh, yeah, they just that's actually, yeah, he, he, he got yeah, aggro got, pretty bad. Aggro. And then he got, uh, he, he, uh, what was it called? Enraged? Enraged. So yeah. he got a, gained a plus six to strength. Bloodlust. Bloodlust. Blood yeah. Is that, was that what the warriors had? I'm talking about, uh, you could, or you, or you, you could, could go uh, berserker. I think you could spec actually, for that. Actually, yeah, berserker. Yeah, yeah. you could spec berserker. Well, he, but he didn't, he wasn't wearing any clothes. So there was not a whole lot of spec and he was doing, except that the, uh, the tooth in his hand that he stabbed the wolf with. Oh, was pretty yeah. Cool. Man, those those wolves were tearing were him up, and he just he walked away from that fine. I'm pretty sure he'd have gotten <laughs> staph infection or something from all those gaping wounds from those animals. Rabies, nothing. Uh, anyway. Yeah, or at least some flesh Demi- hanging off. Demigod. But, but was he? I mean, we don't know. I mean, he did lift a five-ton statue at the end. Well, sort of, he pushed one over, but... Um, Anyway, there's some really funny trivia. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I am all for actors getting into the parts that they do. And, you know, method acting is a really popular thing now. You know, like that's what led to Heath Ledger's demise and things like that. But there's a piece of trivia that I was like, really? Come on. For this role? Really, Rock? Here we go. Uh- so, anyway, we'll get there later. Um... John Hurt's a bad guy. Whoop to do. That was whatever. <laughs> um, uh, Joseph Fines. Let me guess. Hey, um, we need a character. We need an actor who's going to be jealous of someone else and then <laughs> kill him. While well, we just got finished re- listening to Cheap Seat Review's copy or, or review of The Enemy at the Gates, and Joseph Fines was in that, and he does that in that movie. We should get him. So there you go. Absolutely. He plays the same part. He just has fairer hair and he's using his normal, well, he used his normal English accent in that movie too. But <laughs> um, that that was just dumb. His motivation was stupid to kill his family. Whatever. It didn't make sense. If you thought the guy was going to be jealous, you know, like if you were, the people were going to turn on you, just have him killed. Yeah. It just seemed really dumb. You know, whatever. It's the it's the um, the the trope. Well, he said he that has... he couldn't have him killed because the people would revolt. Well, but if you tell the people that he just killed his family, him. well, yeah, yeah, he just killed his family. Here's the proof. Here's the blood on his hands, and we found him in his house. All right, we're gonna behead him. Done. Movie over. 
But no, they got to go all Batman on him and have the Joker create create the Batman because he was you know whatever angry and things. So or or all well, here's um, the question. Or all what's the the Gladiator? The, you know, what's the question, Chad? Well, the question is, Joker created Batman, who created the Joker? Yeah. What's your question? Mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's the circle of. I was going to say which came first, the Joker or the Bat, the Bat or the Joker or the Joker or the Bat. It's like uh, it's, it's like the, it's like the Inception or something, the creation Batception. something like Batception create uh, cre- the creation of a character within the creation of a character. I don't know um, something like that. Crazy guy pulled a boar mirror at the end. Took like twelve arrows. That's a trope, you know. You can't just die by one arrow. You got to take twelve. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. And well, I he always, was you know batshit crazy. Yeah, he really was. I liked him though a lot. And he only had one piece of dialogue, and it was just uh, his name. Hodor. Hodor. No, Hercules. Hodor. That would have been great if he had just said that, Hodor. Or said, I am Groot. Right. (laughs) Uh, That would have been just as hilarious. Um, I am Groot. I like that a lot. I can't ever remember, and it drives me crazy, and I have to go to our website to check it out, which is, of course, CheapSuitReviews.com. Um, with me streaming and being on the internet, uh, our website is being super slow right now. But that's okay. What else can you do at our website, Opie? Uh, you can also go there and vote. Vote for what you say. Well, I'll tell you at the end of this episode. Have we done the Thirteenth Warrior? Uh, yes. The Antonio Banderas. Have we done that? We had 13 Assassins. We, I don't think we've done 13 sure we I have. keep asking this question, and I don't know why. I don't think we have. I don't man. think we've done 13 Warrior. I think I we've done 13 Assassins. Like, I don't know why I feel like we've done this, and maybe just because I want to do this, and I feel like we should have done this by now. But I've, this is like now the third time I've gone through our list here looking for a movie that I now know that we have not done. Anyway, we need to do that movie immediately if it's streaming. If it's not, then we obviously we can't. Anyway, the point... What was my point? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my point is that there's a character in that movie that does the same thing, too. He's like, it takes many, many arrows, spears, whatever, to, to bring him down, too. So that was the point. Was that's to. a common yeah, yeah, war yeah. epic trope, Yeah, like the... Uh, it's either arrows or getting shot. Yeah. Or, you know, how many, how many war movies have we seen with the grenade... You know, the guy gets shot and holds on to the grenade until they come to him. Or, right, right. You know, yeah. It's yeah. a common thing. Um, yeah, I, Sam, I think you mentioned it or someone mentioned about you kind of felt bad for the army. Right? So this yeah. this was yeah. the dumbest army ever, right? <laughs> so they, they blindly follow their king and then they blindly follow this Hercules guy who shows off his feats of strength and which is how they kind of get the army to follow him. But uh-huh. then, then the King turns out to, to be the bad guy, which I guess the army maybe was aware of. I don't know. Maybe they were aware of that. And then when Hercules was like, Hey, you fought with me, blah, 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 blah. I was kind of expected them to turn their swords on the King, you know, yeah. like, mm-hmm. like, well, what's, what's in it called? Uh, like in gladiator. When when Gladiator yeah. when you know when he's fighting the Commodus at the end and Commodus is like give me your sword and then the the, the general steps in and says nope you don't get one you're on your own in this like I kind of felt like that was what was gonna happen was like not the general but like the soldier they kind of kept picking on the whole time at the beginning of the movie mm-hmm. and throughout the movie you know the guy was like how did you cut off a thing with the thing without a thing you know how that guy I kind of expected him to stand up and go nope we're not, we're out. King, you two can deal with it. Like, I kind of felt like that was going to happen. But then, no, we had to have the army fight them. And then he pushes over Hera. And then... And then they're like, Oh, we we like you now. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> like, what? So are you are you cheering for him because you he killed your evil king and now you're rid of this guy? Or because he's just the strongest man alive? Or what? I don't know. Whatever. The script told him to. The script told him to clap. That's exactly what it was. 
I'm pretty yep. sure it was the uh, knocking over the giant ass statue. Uh, or it could have been this. In this moment, on this day, become the man you were born to be. You have it within yourself to write your own legends. Let it be to death or victory! Now, I'll this like... we celebrate our Independence, Independence day. day. Or today we are canceling the apocalypse. Yeah. Or... There may be a day when I see the hearts of men fail, but it is not this day. <laughs> yeah. We, we've all heard this speech before. Here's the thing. One, scars. Glory. One, yeah. Chicks gig scars. Pain heals. Glory, glory. lasts forever. Yeah. Like, that's a better speech than this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's from a football movie that Keanu Reeves I love Reeves that spoke. movie. Yeah, I do too. Actually. Oh, by the yeah. way, I love that movie. Yeah. I, I love I, that yeah, movie. The replacement is really great. Um. So here's the so one other point I was trying to make at the beginning of the episode, and I, I somehow got sidetracked. Surprise, we got sidetracked. Was that I don't really believe that there's that a, a single uh, sidetracked? No, no. Sidetracked? That's a word. I don't think you know what that word is. Sidetracked? Side, sidetracked. Sidetracked. You're right. Side. We got sidetracked. We took a tract that was off of the side. And <laughs> do, 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 this is my uh, this is my Central Africa moment. Well, bad grammar is not necessarily Central Africa. Um, Anyway, uh, uh, double racist. <laughs> no, that's not racist. That's just me being dumb. Um, not like not like Chad racist here. Let's let's be honest. Um, that's very true. <laughs> uh, that this there, there's almost nothing original in this movie. The devil. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying like there's nothing original, and to the point that when he says that line, let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Uh, when he says, "Oh, victory!" Oop, not that line. He says, Let it be to death or victory. So you're saying death or victory. So you mean you could also be saying victory or death. Oh, that. Right. Okay. <laughs> Kick of death. Um, it, all right. I'm going to ask. This, all right. I'm going to ask. <laughs> you got to be a super nerd. I mean, that's two, it's three words I'm giving you. Can anyone guess what that's from? Victory or death. I don't know I'm giving you three words, but. Um, but it immediately reminded me of that. I'm actually going to keep that forever. I don't know. Got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing. Chad? Monty Python. No, not nothing. No. no. Nope. That is the last Starfighter. Nice. Where the kind of the president of the the whatever they're called, you know, they're going to go fight the bad guy, and he says, "Victory or death," and they all stand up and chant, "Victory or death." Anyway, that's a good movie. <laughs> No, just victory, guys. No, 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 or death. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. The, you know, so what you're saying is you're either first or you're last. No, oh, come on, son. There's second, third, fourth. Hell, there's even fifth. But just what you told me my whole life. I was probably drunk at the time. Sorry, there's your Ricky Bobby reference for the day. <laughs> um, yeah, now I have that forever. Let's see. Oh, here you go. Here's your obligatory PG-13 F-bomb. <laughs> centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> that one caught me caught me off guard a little bit because yeah. you know it, it happened in about I don't know twenty seconds. Later, I was like, wait, did he just drop an F? I did the exact same thing. I was like, wait, did he just curse? I don't think they would have used that word back then. <laughs> That's where I don't know. I, don't I do that every time Chad means. comes home. But he, I'm like bleeping Chad. Oh, I was like, you say bleeping centaur. <laughs> centaurs. Is that what happens every time? Or is, is Chad holding a yeah. book and? uh Oh, you hate that as well. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, you mean stupid <laughs> book? Oh, okay. <laughs> Chad comes home every day and says that because he, yeah, you know, for some reason I don't know why. Um, or maybe Chad has a uh, Sam's dog hostage. Nope, not playing that one. But this does happen. Aww. It's really strange. I was about to say, you know, the handler for those dogs. He might have gotten upset when he probably, but they did die. So. He didn't say the yeah. first thing, but he did say... I don't think you understand. These boys killed my dog. He did say that, which is, uh, again, in his very okay, clear and, Macedonian accent. What? <laughs> and I don't know what it was, but during the scene, you know, you just played the clip where... Um, you mean this clip? <laughs> centaurs. That one? <laughs> no, no, it's the one before that um, of crazy mis mystic guy... Telling him to become Hercules, right? Oh, right, right, right. And he's pushing the big uh, statue over. Mm -hmm. 
I, in my mind, I felt sad because I envisioned the designer, the, oh, the sculptors, <laughs> the, the, the person who made this statue, the people that made this statue. Probably under... Took like what? Hey, Jimmy. Ten didn't years? She, didn't she say like it took like five years and a thousand men or something? Yeah. Like people probably like, died oh, making that. They didn't that. put it on at a better pedestal than right. that and it just destroyed. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, Jimmy. He says that guy's going to knock over your statue. What, why, why would you do that? Oh, uh, God, no, 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 no. Right. Like, I can, Couldn't you see the guy like off on the side? He's not part of the army. He's just ever going, the hell? No, 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 oh, no, no, a... oh, no, 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 50 guys died making that stupid thing. I mean, I, I'm with you 100%. It's like, wait a minute. That, what? I actually kind of thought he was going to go like, like maybe pray or something to like Hera, forgive me, blah, 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 blah. And then she was going to like straight lightning or something. I don't know. And you hear the human theme. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Chad. Damn it. <laughs> Oops. I don't need to instant message you. I need to hang up on you. <laughs> so weird it is so strange after well, this is probably getting like 20 ep- 20 episodes now that we have to endure this weirdness that is uh chad's oh wait he's cybertronic I guess I changeover it. yeah it's so strange <sighs> we all think chad's half machine anyway so i mean that's true we do like a garbage disposal <laughs> it kind of does sound like a garbage disposal like when you throw like like uncooked rice or something down there, <laughs> you back, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he always sounds so dejected. I know. Poor guy. Um, Eat me. <laughs> so so Chad, I, I it was really strange. Uh, you know, I was able to get this audio of Chad. Um, you know, he was he was conducting uh, earlier today his band, his marching band, and there was this this really great, great moment. And then Sam came in and was a complete dick and did this. My time. Excuse me, that was my moment, my fate. You're welcome. (laughs) Yeah. It was really strange. One of uh, Chad's students gets up, takes a knife, throws it at Chad. Chad just (laughs) opens his arms and lays back. Sam catches it. That was great. I laughed out loud. Excuse me. That was my moment. Like he went like more British than normal. Excuse me. That was my moment. My time. Excuse me. That was my moment. My fate. (laughs) You're welcome. I just laughed. (laughs) Yeah, my name is Trevor. Excuse me, my name's Trevor. Uh, Trevor Flattery. I oh. love the scream though. Yeah. The <laughs> Almost Wilhelm is screaming. My time. Yeah, let's listen to that one. It's hilarious. Uh, I want to catch that. I want that as my uh, as my notification tones on my on my phone. <laughs> whenever like whenever <laughs> t- like whenever we send something through group me, you're just gonna hear. <laughs> <laughs> I love this idea. This is great. All right, I'll capture that out and uh, send that to you. Awesome. Oh thank man, you. I <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but oh. okay. I really don't. I promise. I'm, I'm moving on. Moving on. If you're still with us, I hope you're laughing as hard as we are because that's hilarious. Um, Almost got the whole Murloc thing going on. A little bit. It does sound like a little bit of a Murloc. Yeah. Murloc. Um, this was the... Um, well, uh, good Lord, those those little green guys attacking the army the first wave. Yeah, that was They weird. had Murloc sounds. Yeah, and why were they... Like, who were they? Did they work for the other guy? Did, like... Or are they just weird green people? I have no idea. Right? Like, yeah. They saw Reese's Pieces up there and they're like, come down, Reese's Monkey, which is Reese Monkey or Monkey. There's a or, Reese's Monkey. Is that what you're. There's a monkey called Reese or something. Or, Reese's, Reese's Monkey. Reese's. R H E S U S. That's what they're named after. Is that dude? They're made out of peanut butter <laughs> and chocolate. 
And you know that Reese's, that's an apostrophe yes. So if somebody named Reese comes up and you're eating some and he says, hey, give me that, you have to. <laughs> Just saying. Um, like Reese Witherspoon? Yeah, if Reese comes up and it's like, hey, those are mine, you're like, oh, you're right. It's got your name on it. There you go. Can I have at least have one, like a piece? <laughs> she says no. Again, I'm quoting. No, I'm quoting Mitch Hedberg. Yeah, again. yeah, I'm quoting Mitch Hedberg. Again. All right. So this is the last clip I got. It's a little long, uh, but I thought it was pretty funny. Again, Ian Shane saying good things. You don't need to be a demigod to be a hero. You just need to believe you're a hero. Like in Kung Fu Panda. It's what worked for him. But then again, what the hell do I know? I'm supposed to be dead by now. I want a little last little music there. I thought it was great. I liked him a lot. Now, uh, I'll play that last one for in a little bit. Uh, there you go. Tropes. I'm going to go through these real quick. Oh, Lord. Intro. Yeah. He intros his teammates. It's... Mr. Busty does a thing, and Herpa Derpty, and she does a thing, and then Hucky Dicky, and he comes out and does stuff. So, um, that might be racist to Greek. I don't know, but whatever. Um, Greece, is, that, that, that country is falling apart under its own weight, so whatever. Um, did you say Greece Shaka Khan? Yeah, he did. Uh, ooh, sounds like somebody's stretching. Uh, fighter doesn't like to fight. I don't, I don't, I don't seek confrontation unless I have to. What? You're a fighter, whatever. Uh, but The Rock plays that one in like two or three other movies anyway. He doesn't like to fight, you know. Like in, in The Rundown. Oh, man. That's, speaking of which, that's a great movie. I like The Rundown that a lot. It really is a good movie. Yeah, and he's like, I don't like to fight. And then he has to fight. And then he's like, I don't like guns. And then he uses guns. Uh, and that's he, the one with uh, him versus the, was it Peruvian Walken. people in the forest? Yeah, and Christopher Walken doing a, 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 an impression of Christopher Walken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the hero has a dead family. Yep, check. Here we go. Uh, traveling montage. Oh, we had a traveling montage. And we had a training montage. I'm contractually obligated to play that whenever there's a montage. Didn't you have a montage montage? Uh, I don't know. Did we? Montage of the montages. I think Sam thinks that this whole movie was kind of a montage. It was. It was a military training montage. Uh, the no, we're a family mon- uh, trope, not montage, trope. Um, and the uh, Han Solo trope, and then you just have to believe trope. Uh, so there you go. There's Again, there's more. I just I, I stopped writing them down. But you know who didn't stop writing things down? Audible.com. You can get um, a free audiobook and a 30-day free trial. Totally free. How much is free? It's free fitty. That's how much it is. You can go to audibletrial.com slash cheap seat reviews for your free audiobook. Go get the uh, Homer's Odyssey. I'm sure that'll that'll keep you busy for a nice long 18 hour road trip. I bet it will. Trivia. In Live with Kelly and Michael, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Sarah Sarah McLaughlin, uh, Dwayne Johnson revealed that his beard in the movie was made of yak testicle hair. Oh. Which tells me one of which tells me two things. One, he likes yak testicle hair, and two, he can't grow his own beard, which is funny. Hey, I know the pain. No, oh. uh, except for Dwayne Johnson's American English accent, all spoken roles are British English or spoken by actors with English not their native tank language. Um, all right. Can you take a German accent or not German a, a Greek accent seriously? I don't know. What does even a Greek accent sound like? Greek. What does that sound like? I don't know what that sounds like. I mean, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Delta, Omicron. That's 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 if your your Greeks are singing from uh uh um what's it called? I'm not reading Rainbow. What was that thing? <laughs> I'm just a Bill, and I'm still. Oh, uh, uh, Schoolhouse Rock. Schoolhouse, Schoolhouse Rock. Rock. Yeah, yeah. When King Eurystus congratulates. Greasy. No, it's not Eurydice. <laughs> Same as English Minnesota. mother. Uh, congratulates mind. Hercules <laughs> for killing the Hydra. He's shown breeding peacocks. This is a sacred animal of the goddess Hera, Hercules' arch nemesis, probably a clue to his true intentions. Bum, bum, bum. Lastly, this. This is what I was making fun of The Rock for earlier, which you don't really do very often. During shooting of the scene where Hercules breaks free of his chains, Dwayne Johnson stated that he blacked out after every take. Quote, 
I asked the prop department to lock me in with real steel chains that I couldn't break so that the performance would be real. When Hercules finally accepts his fate of being the son of Zeus, it's the epic moment of the mythology and our movie. We shot this scene eight times and I blacked out every time, down to my knees. Well worth the pain. This moment is iconic. I'm excited for you to see it. End quote. And a good 100,000 people saw this. <laughs> it still made $200 million. Yeah. So, whatever. But Actually, I had previously heard that before, and I thought that was pretty neat to... I, just for the small mental payoff, I mean, but that... But, like, I, I, I might have cared a little bit had I read that before I watched the movie, maybe, but to now me... Now watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm into this podcast so much, I'm going to hold my breath and just show you how intense I am. Right. Okay? You know, that's what I'm saying. Hey! Like, I mean, like, what if he passed out and, like, bonked his head and got a concussion? You know, I just, I think there's a point in which that you actually become a detriment to yourself and the production. You know, at Speaking what point? Speaking of being a detriment to yourself, ah! blue. See, I'm dedicated to my craft. Oh, he was releasing his air. What were you saying, Chad? You were, you were setting up a pretty funny joke I was I'm anticipating. No, it was gonna be. I was gonna have to go in there and like resuscitate Sam. Oh, by like farting. No, no, no. Oh, that was the joke that you were saying being a detriment to the show, and then Sam had passed out. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. Um, that's all. That's all the trivia I had. Soundtrack grade. I gave this an A or H A or Ha for Hobbitish slash Avenger ish. Now, you might be saying, really? And I've done this before, where I think it sounds like another movie, and then I play a clip, and it doesn't sound like the other movie. I think I got a clip that kind of proves my point. Now, it also just means that both the Avengers and the Hobbit use trombones as their main instrument for their theme. But to me, this this, good for them. This is what uh, yeah, here. Yeah, that could have been if I if I had told you that was the Avengers or the Hobbit. I think anyway, that's what it sounded like to me. That's just me. Anybody else? No, Corny's over here I falling asleep. Yeah, no, I, I could have uh, actually gone with uh, the Avengers more than the Hobbit. But. Yeah, a little bit more of the Avengers, but the, mm-hmm. the beginning part for me was what it sounded like. Um, what did we learn? I, although I would like, I'd like to see the uh, Amazonian woman go up against Hawkeye. Uh, I think she would actually kick his ass because her her. Her bow and arrow bow had friggin' blades on the end of it. Mm-hmm. So I think she might kick his ass a little bit. I'm going to have to concur with that. Yeah. Hawkeye's died several times, so yeah, sure. Yeah, he'll just... just get revived somehow. I did. <laughs> I did. I have read stuff like that. Um, muffin button. What about, uh, what about the arrow? <laughs> <laughs> it's a muffin button. <laughs> muffin button. Uh, what did we learn? Well, we learned Americans can't do foreign accents, except Johnny, exception Johnny Depp. He's the exception. Yep. He's not. He's just kind of. I don't. Th- is he American still? He's from still. He's from Kentucky. Yeah. He has a really hot wife. I don't know if that matters, but I bet so. Amber Heard is really hot. So that's what I'm saying. Wait, that. I thought it was uh, what's her name from Sleepy Hollow and uh, everything else he's in. Christina Ricci. No, that's Tim Burton's. Oh, you mean Helena Brum Carter? Yeah. That's no. That's Tim Burton's wife. Oh shoot. Yeah. Um, but they have like different houses. Well, wouldn't you? What I understand. (laughs) From Tim Burton? Yeah, maybe. (laughs) Love you, dear. Top three mythological movies. That was what we picked, and that's what we will do. Top three, Chad. I'm going to go with uh, Clash of the Titans, the original one. one. The 1981? Uh, With the mechanical owl? Yes, yes. The, the and they're really, really, really bad CGI. Uh, well, it wasn't CGI. Well, back then it well, wasn't. It wasn't bad. It, you know what I mean. Well, yeah, it's stop motion. Yeah, stop motion stuff. Yeah, that was a better. I thought it was a better story than the other one. But yeah, anyway, the new one just looks pretty. But that movie was, I think, is better, except for the R two, the flying R two D two. Yeah, I liked. It. I did like, however, in the new one, they actually brought out that prop. Yeah, like, oh, as, as a joke, like, oh, what's that? You what don't the hell's this? You don't want to mess with that. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't work or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, see, the other one I was gonna have to go with 
mythological mythology. I had a list, and it left me. Well, it went on. Know. It went on an odyssey. It it was Miriam. Mil- Mil- I can't even talk. <laughs> That's the same. All right, so yeah, that one. I'm gonna go with. You know what? I'm gonna go out on a stretch here. And seeing as how I'm the one that makes the decisions. Okay. Oh, brother, where art thou? You know what? It's, it's on my list. Dang it. I was hoping I was the only one to pick it. But yeah. <laughs> For those that don't know, it is based on the Odyssey. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. And then finally, I keep wanting to go to 300, but I know that that's not like... Mythological. Oh. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go with those two okay. for right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, one. I just realized that one of my selection isn't actually a movie. It's considered a mini series, but it's they only made like it's Real it, Housewives of Atlanta. Well, no, it's The Odyssey <laughs> with uh, Armand Asante, which I have seen and is actually really good. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola did it, but it uh, it's technically a TV show, a miniseries, but it's just it's one or a series of episodes that's total of 176 minutes. So I'm going to count it as a movie. I don't care what you say, Chad. Um, I'm also going to have to go with <laughs> Black Orpheus. Black Orpheus? What the hell you call me? Well, only because you just read that. Yeah, I did. Black <laughs> okay, Orpheus? I'm going to yeah. go with Beowulf. I did not approve. That was came out in 1959. I know, right? The retelling of the Orpheus and Eurydice myth set during the time of the carnival of Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I'm 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 really going to go with Beowulf because I've actually seen it. Which one? The uh, the CGI movie? Yeah, the CGI movie. Didn't we all go see that together? We I did. Think so. Yeah, I remember. You complained because you hated things thrown at the screen in I 3D. I hate that. It's so dumb. Um, it really was dumb, but I like the story of Beowulf. I do too. Angel- Angelina Jolie is hot. Yeah, even in weird CGI form, she's kind of hot. And you know what else is a really good version of uh, storytelling of Beowulf? The 13th mm-hmm. Warrior. 13th Warrior. Yes. Um, damn it, we got to watch that for this show. Corny. All right, I'm going to go with um, Pooberry. The uh, Pooh Bear, Pooh Berry, um, instead of me dropping an f bomb, um, the, the cartoon Hercules, with James Woods, Disney yeah, yeah, cartoon? yeah, 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 the one that Chad read earlier, yeah, Joe and Joe Bear, and uh, um, Beowulf, uh, even though it was a bad movie, it was at least a movie about Beowulf, and then um, hmm. I just have two today. I have two today. Oh, okay, okay. Because I can't think of another one I've actually watched. No, that's, that's fair. Um, Sam? Um, I've got a uh, honorable mention. Went to no, the uh, Clash and Wrath of Titans. I only saw the first one. I didn't see the second one. Yeah. Unleash the Kraken was kind of cool. Um, another oh, wait, honorable mention goes it. to the Beowulf in 3D. Now, my number three, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's called Outlander. Yeah. Have you seen that one? I've seen. Is that the one with the with like Pony Boy and Soda Pop, and they get in they get into a tussle with the with the uh, uh, the Soches and end up burning out a church? Oh no, that's what? the Outsiders. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, this is this is basically an astronaut crash lands on Earth during Viking time. Oh, that seems real. And oh no, yeah, yeah, and uh, it's basically the Beowulf story, um, only with that sci-fi element to it. It's really kind of cool. Uh, my number two one is Troy. I I I saw the last thirty minutes of it and was yeah. bored. Really? Yeah. Kind of yeah. liked it. It was fun. And my number one is, of course, a brother where art thou? Oh, of course. Yeah. Um. All right. How about you? Uh, I did. Oh, brother, where art thou? Was my honorable mention, and then I, um, I also, uh, I didn't know. So I'm going to say, since the Odyssey is basically technically a TV series, I'm actually going to check that one out. So number three is actually going to be the Immortals. Um, 
which uh, came out like two or three years ago. Super CGI in that same style. Is it that like 300 style? Yeah, that same 300. Yeah, yeah. But it has gods and titans and things like that. It's basically Wrath of the Titans, but with actual titans and gods. Um, uh, and then I put Percy Jackson, the two movies, the first two. Mm. I'm just gonna, they're not great movies. I like the books way better. The books mm. are actually excellent, so I'm just kind of giving them the nod. The second movie is actually okay. The first movie is kind of bad. Um, and then number one, I'm gonna is the Clash of the Titans, 1981. I watched that with my dad, and I remember thinking those um, fighting skeletons actually looked kind of scary and things. Um, <laughs> oh crap! I have forgotten his name. Harry uh, Harry Housen. Potter. Um, no Harry. Uh, Joe Pesci. Harry Harry Housen. Harry Harry Housen. What's his name? Milhausen. Milhouse. You know, I just thought of something. According to Bones, mm-hmm. not the TV show, the um, McCoy. Harry, Harry Hamlin was in it, but yeah, please. According keep... to myth, no. You know, if I can, if I'm recalling my Star Trek Maggie Smith quotes correctly, yeah. Um, Bones actually said, according to myth, God created the world in seven days. Yeah. So according to that logic, six days. Six days. The quote six days, sorry. Six days. It was six days. According to that logic, we could assume that the the the, the, the Bible story is uh myth, mythological. Mythological. Uh so you want to say like the Passion of the Christ is a is a mythological movie? I was gonna go more like the Ten Commandments, but uh, sure. Ray Harryhausen was the guy I was trying to think of. He was the guy that kind of came up with the uh stop motion for the whatever. And he also consulted on if I can get this movie in on every episode, I'm going to Army of Darkness. Oh, uh, yeah. With the uh, mm. things. The incrumpable chin of Bruce Campbell. Do you see that they're coming out with a TV show? I know, right? Um, thank you, Chad, for uh, shoehorning in um, Star Trek into this episode. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. I do. I, I didn't really look to see if there was a Star Trek connection on this one off the top of my head. I don't, I don't, I don't see one that screams out. I don't think John Hurt was ever in Star Trek. Well, he probably should have been. Well, you see, I, if I'm not mistaken, The Rock used to wrestle with. Oh, actually, The Rock was guy. in an episode. He's actually in an episode of Voyager, That's which right. I'm which I am actually rewatching. So I'll let you know when I when I get to that episode. Um, I will say, hey, I'll let you know what he's cooking. Um, <laughs> sorry. Wouldn't that be duplicating or replicating? Replicating. Well, you just go to like the the the, the wall and push a button. And now, technically, yes and no because in Voyager, because of what's happening in Voyager, they actually have to cook a lot of their food. So, anyway, what fun is? Wait, wait, wait! That doesn't make any sense because Voyager went after Next Generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right? not. It's not that the technology isn't there. the The concept is is that because they're so far away from home. They can't use the replicators to do all the things that they would normally use them for because they have, it's a finite technology. You know, it's not like they can just go back to Earth and get a refill. You know, so like they have replicators, but they actually all the people are on rations. So you only get so many uses per day or week or whatever. And they have to cook food for the most part. They have a, like a chef that's on board. So it, it's actually well, wouldn't that be the same thing? You're still using up food. No, they have to, they're actually going to planets and actually getting the food. It's not like they're replicating food to cook. They're actually going to planets and like trading with local whatever to actually get food to make. Like they're actually, and they also they turned one of their cargo bays into a botanical hydroponics garden thing so they can again grow food. Get high. Like <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. Muffin button. That's going to be it for this show. Um, <laughs> because we're almost at an hour and a half. So <laughs> there's uh, no email, but that's okay. You may send your emails to cheapseatreview at gmail.com. Good, bad, and different. We're good. Right. So and what are we going to rate this movie? Okay. Sure. I've got it. Uh, so yeah, so our top, uh, our out of 10, Chad. I'm going to give it... Uh, Six and a half singing Danny DeVito's. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Uh, Corny. I'm going to give it six and a half bleeping minotaurs. Okay. Centaurs, sorry. Centaurs, yeah. Sam. 
I think I'm going to have to give it uh, six. Uh, singing Danny DeVito's. <laughs> you oh. can't give. Yeah, that's what, that's what <laughs> Chad has said. You can't use the same gag. Oh, that's all I can think of. Oh, that's lame. I uh, thought I heard it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 13 seconds to go by Chad. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess you could beat the odds and try to go the distance, but, you know, whatever. Nice. He nice. even quotes the song. Suck it, Sam. Um, <laughs> Zero uh, to hero. Right here. <laughs> um, and he also wears a lion on his head in that. It's, of course, it's the, the, the skin of Scar from The Lion King. Um, yeah. Which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, but moving on. Moving on. Uh, I'm going to give this one a seven. I had a good time with it. Oh, seven what? I don't know. Seven. Oh, look, there's armor here now out of ten. Uh, yeah, where was this when we first battled? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, seven. I had a good time with this movie. It was fun. It's not a great movie. Not even really a good movie. I just had fun watching it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, now I will play this, uh, the great Leonard Bernstein. Um, email. You may ch- uh, send us your emails to cheapseatreviews at gmail.com. Uh, uh, like us on Facebook. Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Facebook.com slash Cheap Seat Reviews. Follow us on Twitter at Cheap Seat Cast. Uh, you may follow me at Sean J. Allred. Sam is Suniji, S O N E J I 16. Corny is Johnny Darko 16. Chad is Maestro underscore Evans. You may send us. I already said that. Um, we are doing next week a movie, which hopefully will be hopefully. still streaming. Yeah. And that is. I gotta find it. The we're doing Hot Fuzz next week. Um, mm. Hot Fuzz. That's the uh, the movie with the uh, with Scotty in it. What's his name? Fuzz. Sh- uh, what's his name? Sean. Shia, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Oh. Sh- what is his name? Joe Pesci. Sean uh, Bean. Sh- not Sean Bean. <laughs> He'll uh, die. Richard Petty. Richard Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg. Yeah, there you go. That's his name. Simon Pegg. Out of the way, Peck. Out of the way, Peg. Uh, I'm sure he's never heard that before in his life. Uh, yeah, Hot Fuzz, uh, we should be doing. Um, thank you for listening. Go to our website, CheapSeatReviews.com, and you can vote to determine which movie we will do as our final episode for the month of October. ABC's of Get every, on it. It's uh, a close vote. Yeah, it's a close vote. So on behalf of Chad, Corny, Sam, this is Sean saying goodnight. And go visit Wall Marcia. What is it? Wall Marcus. Wall Marcus. Yes, come on down to Wall Marcus. Get your armor made in China. <laughs>